Good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Myra Wobrand. I'm sharing with you our experiences on D Group at uh, FARA. Uh, FARA is the Forum for Agricultural Research in Africa. And we are based in Accra, Ghana. And um, we are basically the technical arm of the African Union on Agricultural Research for Development. We have various um, members or constituencies from research, extension, education, and civil society organizations. Um, we cover the whole, um, well, we have memberships all over, over Africa, but we work very closely with sub-regional research organizations such as CORAF, Azareca, um, Cardesa, and NASCO. Um, our, our interventions in Africa cover four areas, that is advocacy and policy, on agricultural research. The second one is improving access to knowledge and technology, uh, which, one, which is what I'm heading. Yeah. The third is capacity strengthening um, for agricultural research in Africa. The fourth is partnership and strategic alliances. Okay, so if I go to the outline of my um, discussion, the main reason why we went into D group is that FARA as a forum has to reach out to its diverse members across the world or specifically in the continent. Um, this bridges the gap between our general assemblies that are held every three years. So we wanted to have a mechanism where our constituents can actually communicate with us and vice versa within this three years gap. Um, the second one is more on communicating, communication and management of platforms across the continent. We have different thematic platforms within each of our programs and D groups being used to um, manage these platforms. Um, the current status of our D group we have 228 members from 102 countries. The membership is so diverse because it involves or where our membership it, uh, starts from farmer, farmer organization, extension, youth, up to different leaders of um, research institutions within Africa as well as international organizations and donor organization. So the skills in managing or joining in the D group is very diverse. But the past few years we've been able to hopefully through experience been able to improve how each of our members are actually um, participating in the D group. And since D group is used in for diverse purposes in at FARA, a very active platform that we have is PayPart, which is being managed by um, Francois. Um, we also have another one, Africa Adapt, that is uh, managed by the FARA Secretariat as well. And the, the actually the second most active uh, group is Rails and that is managed by David MD. So in total we have 50 subcommittees, but not all of them are active. The benefits that we've been able to um, gain from D group is that we've been able to communicate with our different stakeholders throughout the three years um, in between the General Assemblies. An example of this is that if we have certain announcements to make or a different um, engagement to make with different stakeholders, we are able to use the group. Um, but we've also been able to um, organize ourselves better 
by having a weekly update. We had a very big challenge in terms of the quality of information or moderating the information exchange among our members. We've been able to solve that through our weekly updates is currently being uh, managed by the Secretariat. The second um, benefit is that we managed to empower non-research stakeholders, uh, meaning the uh, extension workers, farmers organizations. So they are able and they're free to raise any questions or any topics they want to discuss. A um, few months ago and even last year, we had very active discussions on specific topics that were raised openly by our members. Um, somehow it died down this year. We are trying to assess how, why or what is the reason for this. The fourth benefit is that, as mentioned earlier, we use this as an advocacy and dissemination tool. So when we send out an email, an email uh, about our achievements or any new opportunities, it reaches out to diverse um, users. And what is um, very important note, to note is that a lot of donor organizations are actually members of our D group and they're just very quiet. But when we talk to them, they are very much aware of what's happening um, at the far level in terms of activities. Um, through the subcommittees, we have also been able to uh, have focus discussions. And it has also helped us improve the management of our different platforms, as mentioned, Rails. But there's also the NASA that we are also working on. Um, PayPart is is, is very much um, active in using the D group. The main challenges we face is, is uh, how to manage uh, our dynamic sub communities and then also catalyze discussions. Um, we, we, as much as we want to encourage discussions from our members, we also want to maintain quality discussions. Uh, as much as we want to have several subcommittee communities, we we want to make sure that they're actually being used. And our manpower at the Secretariat is very limited. The second challenge in terms of management is the diverse skills and interests of members. Uh, when we had this very active discussions raised by some farmers or extension workers, we actually were also flooded with complaints from different members about receiving a lot of garbage from our D group. And I think uh, that still continues to be a problem, although it's been less and less now. Um, the other challenge is how we actually encourage the members to update their profile and also make better use of our uh, of this database of our members, I mean, encouraging them to have probably subgroups or um, of the use of the group. Uh, we we are still very much limited in, in exploring this um, new feature in the D group. The third challenge is um, well, it's linked because. Currently, FARA is trying to um, rationalize the different tools that we have at the moment. And there are internal questions of why we maintain the group when you can have Facebook, Twitter. But I guess those are the people who have not understood the, the, the difference between the group and Facebook. But I think there's also, uh, we need to also determine if we have a more effective uh, online network if we use link, LinkedIn or me. Now, in terms of, of the members, the challenge we face is understanding the purpose of the D group. Some would complain, oh, I'm not receiving enough information. Some would say, I have a lot of garbage in my mail, etc. So they, we still need to, to improve their understanding of what is the D group and what is the purpose, why they are members. So they have to know how to manage their own account. But also at the same time, how do they actually follow threads of discussion so that we can easily um, analyze the different discussion and different topics. Um, that's another that's, that's the challenge we face. So in conclusion, 
we have clearly the group has, a, has given us big benefits in terms of reaching out to our stakeholders across Africa. Um, we've been able to uh, we need to strengthen its use within our um, communication strategy that is we're trying to revise as well as um, link it up with our social media strategy that we are trying to develop at the moment. Um, the third one that we would like to do is to rationalize the sub-communities. There are um, very active sub-communities, but there are also sub-communities that are actually not needed anymore. Uh, and then we also have two groups that we need to harmonize or rationalize in terms of members' needs. That is the um, or group within the CTA and also a group as a foreign network. Um, at the moment, we want to be able to assess how effective the D group is um, for FARA as a forum. I think that's a task that we need to do next year, um, which will probably feed into us having a comprehensive strategy and plan on how to manage the FARA D group. Do we actually have a dedicated staff to manage D groups, or do we have a more decentralized um, um, management? So the key questions we have um, for the group for discussion is how do we monitor and evaluate our D, our D groups? How do we actually also analyze the members' database? Encourage them how to, uh, to, be, to update their profile? And also use or export the list of members to other programs. Um, we had a challenge because we had very active subgroup, subcommunity. Um, an example of that is PayPart and uh, Fire Network. Some, uh, do we actually maintain, um, how do you say that, a hierarchical flow of information from a community to subcommunity to sub subcommunity? And is there an automatic membership within these three levels? Okay, thank you.